Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie up a low water style Irish shrimp. It's also, it's called Atkins style, which is basically a shorter version of a traditional Irish shrimp. And the pattern I'm going to be tying is, is, a, is a band special. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this style of shrimp and also this pattern today is because it was devised by Bird Atkins. As a lot of you all know, Bird Atkins passed away there last week. So I thought it'd be a good day. To do a wee fly like this this week um one of his most popular flies so i've just added my thread on and for my tag and the ribbon i'm going to be using silver wire this is a very small small hook this is a size 14 b270 which is about a size 16 salmon fly it's basically a small trout double so what i'm doing is i'm just going to do a couple of turns for my tag and then just bring that back up again and this is the big part big difference between this and your traditional eye shrimp is that you actually don't use the tail at the at the end of the, the shank you use it midway up so what i've done is i've basically created my, my tag or my yeah my tag and i'm going to just double that back to create my rib and then the wire is going to be formed underneath and as, I, as I'm going down I'm going to add in some floss being a band special it's going to be yellow floss okay I'll just bring that right down to the tag get my scissors and cut that off and then just bring up your thread to the midway point of the fly And then follow that up with your floss. Essentially what you're doing is you're moving the tail hackle or the golden pheasant as a mid hackle instead. And your mid hackle is going to the front. They join with your front hackle. And that's what they call Atkins instead. Should be favours of the floss here. I just want to catch in. Okay, a couple of turns to secure that in. And then just well, you're only going to get probably a two or three if you're really lucky. And this size of this size of hook. Okay, so that's your rib secured. A bit of a mess of this that's your rib secured and then what you can do is just twist the wire instead of using your um, scissors okay so next one is add in what would have been the tail it's going to be the mid hackle and i've got a small golden pheasant red breast feather okay so i've seen me done this doing this before basically I always get a bit of wax Wax your thread. And then just gonna tie that in at the tip. You can double that back if you want, but I'm just gonna trim it off. No shortage of favours for a fly that says. Okay, wet the favours. <laughs> And double them back. And then probably just two wraps would do for this size of fly. And even as a mid hackle, it still can be messy. The golden pheasant. Okay. Any favours going forward, just drag those back. And then secure off. Okay, so I'm going to just check. 
just to make sure the fibres are well spread throughout there. Supposedly laying on one side of the, the hook. Now then, again, for the front body, in fact, for the front body, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the thread. So I used a yellow thread just because it was a brighter body. But for the front of the body, it's going to be black floss, so I'm going to go with black thread as well. Okay, so just get your black thread and tie that on as normal. And then secure your rib underneath, which is the same silver silver wire. And then take a piece of black floss, feed that on on top. Okay, come off your excess. Bring your thread up to the front then. And just start winding up the front body. Okay, screw it in with a couple of turns. And follow up with probably two turns of your silver wire. Okay, and then again, just twist your wire off. I suppose they cut it. Okay, and then we're ready for the two front hackles. So traditionally the mid hackle would be hot orange and then the front hackle would be your cream or silver badger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of these on at the same time because it's a small shrimp. I'm only going to do probably one and a half turns or probably one turn probably. So I'm laying up the tips together with the silver on the front. And I'm just going to With both the good sides facing me. I'm gonna break off the tip and expose a few fibers of both. Okay, then I need my wax. Very important the wax thread at this stage. And then I tie in at the break there. And then pull those fibers back. Watch your fingers with a small double. Okay. And then hold on a stock and both at the exact same time. Just start trying to double that back. Start teasing, start basically teasing the fibers downwards. If there's only sticking out, we can work that out later on. And for this size of fly, I'm probably only going to do one turn. So I don't need to. Work it too far down, just enough to get a good turn. I'm going to remove as much excess as I can for an either tie off. Okay. And double those stock back again if you're not going to put on jungle cock you're not worried about the head size and what you can do is put in a bit of pressure pull each stock off so as you can see it's got all the bands special colors but it's a 
miniature, more compact version. So, all we need to do is whip finish. The turns just to form the head, build that head up a wee bit. Then that's you. Um, handy for times whenever the face are nipping a wee bit short. You know, obviously the tail's starting halfway up. Um, but definitely worth having a wee go. Um, yeah, I think that'll be a deadly wee summer fly. So that's Bird Atkins Span Special, tied in low water Atkins style. Okay, thanks very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. All the best.